we mourn uh, Idi Saab's passing away, not only because he was Pakistan's greatest philanthropist and humanitarian, but also because he lived his life through this ideology of Ediism, which meant that he didn't discriminate um, based on religion or color or caste or creed or ethnicity. It's because everyone he touched and um, every project that he was involved in, he was first and foremost a human being. I had a good fortune of meeting Idi Saab in Karachi in, in his foundation a few years back. And I can easily say he was one of the most kindest person that I have met. His contribution to humanity all over the world, not only in Pakistan or the adjoining areas, was immense. He touched people's lives. He touched their uh, the code of kindness among a lot of people. And uh, his loss will be felt by all those children, all those people who he worked for. But when such people go away, they leave behind a legacy and that legacy continues and continues. Abdul Sattar Eidi is not only a success of a person. Abdul Sattar Eidi is a person of thought, a person of thought, a person of thought, a person of thought, and a person of thought, and a person of thought, which has been going on for 60 years. This person, this person, this person of thought, امن کے لیے محبت کے لیے انسانیت کے لیے برابری کے لیے خلوص کے لیے ہے اور ہر لحاظ سے ابو ستار ایدی ایک باغی تھے وہ باغی تھے اس نظام سے جس نظام میں غریبوں کے حقوق نہیں وہ باغی اس نظام سے جہاں بوڑھوں اور ضعیفوں کی سر پر چھت نہیں وہ باغی اس نظام سے جہاں یتیموں کے لیے گھر نہیں وہ باغی اس نظام سے جہاں مریضوں کے لیے سہولتیں نہیں एक साठ साल की ज़िंदगी उस इंसान ने गुजार दी, सिर्फ अपने काम पे फोकस किया, सिर्फ अपनी काबिशों के जरिए उन लोगों को जवाब दिया जो उनके ख़लाफ़ बोलते थे, इन्होंने उनका भी साथ दिया मुश्किलों में जो उनके ख़लाफ़ थे, और फिर वही लोग इनके हामी भी बन गए। इसी साथ की ज़िंदगी और उनकी � the biggest gift that Idi Saab has given us as a nation is that he has shown us through example how powerful gratitude can be. And that is something I feel that will live on for generations to come. It will resonate with us for many, many years. All my life, I have seen Idi Saab exemplify and personify the ultimate to give and to love without any agenda and with complete um, diligence. And this is despite the odds. I mean, in a country where you find so many people who have the means to that c complain or, you know, are uh, bogged down by security, by political upheavals. And here you have a man who single-handedly affected the lives of so many people. In Pakistan, for the past six decades, his name has become synonymous with giving and with someone who can serve. And I think that that is something that will live on forever. So the icon may have passed, but his legacy will live on forever. I remember reading one of his answer when somebody asked him that why his ambulance services pick up the bodies of non-Muslims, Hindus, Christians. So Idi Saab smiled and replied that the ambulances are much more Muslim than you are. Idi Saab is a very important part of Pakistan and his service. And he has lived his life and has kept 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 his life. This is a very important example lifestyle था और मैं खासा अगर हम उनको tribute देना चाहें तो हम थोड़ा सा भी life lifestyle में ये change ला सकते हैं उन्होंने एक महीना नहीं चार महीने नहीं पांच महीने नहीं साल पांच साल दस साल में बल्कि पूरी ज़िंदगी अपनी इसी तरह की lifestyle को अपना है तो बहुत ज़बरदस्त tribute होगा कि अगर हम भी अपनी life में ये छोटी सी change ला सकते हैं। 
our society, our children, our people, our women, everybody, our generation, uh, for generations to come, is so immense that it cannot be put down into words. Maybe one day I can uh, take some spirit out, out of his greatness and put it into a song or a poem, but I can just say that we are blessed, extremely blessed to have a man like him live in our times and if you can just take five even a five percent out of what that man tried to do and achieve and dedicate our lives towards that philosophy and ideology which spoke about humanity more than anything else and actually get down to doing stuff which mattered changed people's lives, saved people's lives, then I think we would have, we would do him a great deal of, uh, not even a great deal, but we would do, we'll make him proud, wherever he is. Uh, and we hope and pray for you, Irisa, that you're in heaven and, and that we get to see you there someday. The afterglow of Edi Saab's life will continue to inspire us and in generations because such people ignite in us our love for our neighbor. Empathy is the fuel on which civilizations live and that's what Edi Saab invested in. What good is all the scientific knowledge that we have if we cannot use it to help a fellow human being. That is the single most important message of this man who was amidst us. He is the man to look up to and revere and seek inspiration from. My salute to the memory of Iri Saab. May his fragrance linger in our hearts for years and years to come. I am delighted to know that the Observer Research Foundation Mumbai has organized a multi-faith prayer meeting in honor of late Abdul Sattar Idhi. India mourns, along with the people of Pakistan, the passing of Mr. Abdul Sattar Idhi, the legendary philanthropist and social worker. We in India know that he took care of Geeta, the Indian girl who had strayed into Pakistan and was returned a few months ago after having lived with Mr. Idhi and his wife for several years. We condole the demise of Abdul Sattar Idhi, but know that his name will live on through the foundation he established, which will continue to work on the social and humanitarian causes which were close to his heart. I take this opportunity to commend ORF Mumbai for having established a Mumbai Karachi Friendship Forum, which aims at forging peace and friendship between India and Pakistan through greater contacts and mutual understanding. While I am not able to be present in person, I thank you all for attending this multi-faith prayer meeting to remember Abdul Sattar Idhi.